Hey guys, this is Mitch, Malice, Malicious, whatever you want to call me, I don't, I don't even care. Alright, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to use flares, and if you're watching this video you'll get a sneak peek on my, this edit that I'm doing, come up sometime soonish. I really don't have, no, have time to work on it, which sucks because I really want to get this done for this guy, but... There's two uh, two types of flares I'll be showing you how to do. Here's the first one. <laughs> All right, come on, computer. Um, I love that. Right, here it is. The flare right there, that sexy looking skull flare. And the next one is right here. That was it. It's like a dynamic flare, like thing, where it like, kind of like sticks to the uh, surroundings, kind of like it's motion tracked. Say right here, right there, in there. All right. So let's do this. Draw. Save that. All right. First you want to find a uh, clip where there's a light of some kind moving, maybe even maybe even the sun where the screen is moving. And why is it displaying? Why is my Okay, here we go. Probably should have done this beforehand. But I'm gonna hurry because I have class tomorrow. Uh, that's not it. Um, um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Let's see my cinematics. Let's see what this is. Ooh, this one looks interesting. Wow, that will work pretty well. All right, we'll use that one, and let's just use. I don't know what I'm doing here. All right, then let's use a clip that is sick, nasty, and he's pulling back the scope. This one will work. This is another clip from the guys. Edit that I'm gonna be doing. Alright. So, we'll do the scope one first. You know what to do, make it where it fits. Blah, yada, yada, yada. Let's go to where he hits the shot. Ooh, right there. Right about. Uh. Where is it? Holy crap. Alright, so bam, hits the shot. <laughs> right there is where the flare is going to happen. And where my twixter is going to happen. Alright, so twixter. Oh, that was a fail. Do all my twixter stuff I like to do. Very time consuming. Alright, bam. Da da. I think I went forward too. Yeah, one, two, three. Bam, set it at two. Talk the sound. Alright, now what you want to do is you want to add. New solid, black. This is a third party plugin, so if you don't have it, this tutorial is useless for you. But if you do have it, you're just in luck, because this tutorial should help you. It may not, but it should. 
<laughs> Not very reassuring, but uh, what you want to do is go like halfway in between where your uh, you set your twixter up here. So I had mine like one, two, three. So like one. No, it really doesn't matter. I'm gonna set it right here. All right, click on your black solid again. I am a terrible at this. I forgot to tell you on this, but when you add the optical flares, which is in, I believe it's in uh, video, co yeah, video copilot optical flares. You want to add that. Go down to render mode and transparent, so it will show up, or you will be helpless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it down to where I would want it to be on my scope right 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 there should be good now I'm going to go to options while this is loading I'm going to go ahead and well never mind um, I have some presets set up here but I'm not going I'm not going to show you how to well I like this one but I also have this one we're going to do this one this one is uh actually I think this is in here so you go to uh, it's one of these in here. I think it's this one without take out all the irises. Oh, I do that. Any irises that have dots in them, take those out. Those are useless. Um, Oh my gosh, I'm going crazy. Um, Alright, that wasn't it. I'm a failure. Hold on. Uh, it's not natural, so maybe motion graphics? Maybe? There it is. That is the one. Holy crap. I don't think I was going to find it. Alright, you want to get rid of all the irises. And in here, this one's called uh, Dirty Anamorphic. I mean, you can leave it like that if you want to. I mean, this is. You are your own person and editor and everything. Alright. But what you want to do is what you want to do. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and make it how I would normally make mine. And I'm taking a few things out that I would keep. Keep those in there. What is this? Oh, oh, I don't care about that one. Um, where the freak is that? It's useless. Alright, there, there you go. Okay. Doesn't look, there looks like there's something to be missing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lens object glow. I should add some effect. Yeah, some sort of like that. That's too much. Too much. Let's go down here. Take this out. We're gonna leave it the way it is. Because I have mine some special way and I forgot what I did. Okay. Now what you want to do is set this at your brightness at a hundred, go over one frame to the left and put it at zero. Bam. And then, as long as far as your uh, Twixter goes, I'm gonna go about computer pros here. All right, then move forward. I'm gonna go back. Quite a ways. Let's see, I would normally have my Twixter for like half a minute I guess and by half a minute 
I lied. That was, that was way drastic. I meant like a spit it out Mitchell second and a half. So let's see. About 130, so three ish. About here. I don't know, I'll set that brightness there. But you would normally click the brightness and set it to zero because there'd be a clip that cut off right there and you want the the black solid to cut off with it. And now we're going to track this flare with the scope. So what you want to do, position X, Y and go to where your brightness is at 100 for the first point. And click just position X, Y. Then you want to go to the last, and if it helps you, you can click this eye and turn that off because you still have this marker here, which I find it more helpful. So it goes bam, bam, so be about here. Holy crap, this is going to be a long tutorial. Uh, I'm going to split this into two parts. It'll be this part and then the next part. So you should get this where it's following right there. Um, this clip's apparently messed up for some reason because it stops right there. But yours shouldn't do that. I have no idea why I did that. Um, but anyways, that is how you do this effect. Now, I want you to keep in mind when you do this effect to be careful because if you, let's say you add a color correction, you want your color correction to complement the flare or the flare to complement the color correction but you do not want it to fail miserably which can happen badly and I see it happen all the time and you do not want that to happen that that is <laughs> that's bad don't don't do that now I'll, I'll give you an example of a good CC with it and a bad one. So, I'm gonna open this. For some reason, my magic bullet looks for the first time I try to open it, it fails, and then the next time it opens. I don't know why, I don't care. Alright, so first let's find a really cool effect that complements the flare. That's way too much. I like it, but too much. Um,. Holy cow, um, this is my custom, let's go to Pug here, let's find one here, um, uh, artery, I'm having more trouble at finding a color correction for this than I would have imagined. You know what? That that one looks good. That'll work. Whatever. See how that looks? Uh, it adds this sexy like. It's like normal flare with a boring looking clip to bam sexiness. Okay. Now I forgot to do something, but I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you this. Um, when you have your flare. You don't want it to be that boring little bam flare kind of thing. You want it to you want it to catch your eye and be like, "Wow, it looks really awesome." So what you want to do? Go to flicker and mess with your speed here. I think I've got mine at like maybe 75, 25. Where it flickers a whole lot. Here, I'll, I'll re ram preview this real quick and see how this looks before I uh, end this. Be right back. Alright, and this is what it would look like. This nice flicker. It's really a lot of flicker out there. I have 50. 
Okay, let's just go through here. Yeah, 50. 50 25 would be good. Alright. So, that is a color correction that would complement it on the failure at life. Complementary color correction. Um, actually, the majority of them I looked through while ago was uh, uncomplimentary. Like that, that doesn't look good. Um, that doesn't look good. Okay, but still not very good. Looks good, but it's really bright. Yeah, that—that's what I was thinking of right there. Classic example of one that would look pretty bad. See how the blue is like really defined right there, and uh, how this really stands out. I mean, you want it to stand out, but you don't want—I mean, don't tell me that doesn't look. That just doesn't look good. You know what I mean? It doesn't look right. That's what I'm trying to think of. It doesn't look right. It's not supposed to be there. You can tell. But that'll be it for this half of the tutorial. Sorry it took me so long to explain that to y'all. I guess I was rambling. I, I don't. I don't know. But uh, I will see you guys next Friday with the other half of this tutorial. Peace out.